The news summary, good evening. The main organizer of the Interschool Athletics Championship, the Ministry of Education, has confirmed that this year's championship has been postponed. That's because renovation work is still underway on the tracks at Stade Linité. Pralin and Ladic schools will have to come to May for the elimination rounds. The Director General for Allied Education Services, Cyril Pillet, made the announcement during a press conference today. Uh, the Ministry of Education has uh, taken the decision to postpone the National Schools Athletic Championship at a, at a later, later date, based on the fact that the um, uh, uh, the Stade Dignité, the, the facility, is under renovation, and uh, we um, uh, we will wait um, uh, when the renovation is completed, and 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 then we will take a decision as to when we're going to organize the the championship. The third internet submarine cable connecting Seychelles to the rest of the world has made landfall this morning. The vessel Niwa unloaded the cable at Northeast Point Beach in the presence of officials from the Department of Information, Communication Technology and Intellivision. Intellivision has invested $32 million to have its own submarine cable under this project in which it collaborated with Vodafone. The cable system called Cab to Africa, once it comes online in September, will provide Intellivision with over 600 gigabytes per second. The interim CEO of Intellivision, Reza Jaro, says that this will significantly increase the capacity, quality and availability of internet connectivity in the country. This gives us uh, some redundancy as well as uh, it's our own cable. So because we set the, the price bar, as you know, because we have to buy, as, as you know, the cable from the sea submarine cable, which is the existing. So we, we can't control the price. It's whatever price which they give us, which we have to buy. With our own cable, we can set the prices. So this, we believe, can revolutionize the way internet is being used in the country today. And it's our price which we can sell it to customers. The pricing structure, it all depends on the need. We understand that there is a great need for internet in the country today. So with the pricing, the, the customers can accept, uh, accept some very competitive pricing at the best price. We can't give you pricing right now because for September, there is a little bit more time. There will be a lot of new applications. People can, right now, people just watch on HD. For example, their YouTube content and their four, uh, what is Facebook content. With this new cable, people will be able to watch all their content on 4K. So there is a big change from that. So something of speed complaints is something will be of something of the past. The Cabinet of Ministers has approved a new policy for vulnerable housing repair and improvement scheme. The Vice President Ahmed Afif says that this scheme is to provide support for those who cannot afford to raise a fund to repair, maintain or do small construction to existing dwelling houses. The scheme was in existence since 2016 but was suspended in 2020 because there was a need for an audit of the existing procedure. This has been done, an audit report has been prepared, and government feels that we, the time is for us to carry on with the uh, vulnerable team. And uh, essentially, the, the main change will be that we will receive the benefit, owns the land. We want to ensure that the person who will benefit uh, really has no other means. Um, is disabled, for example, or is, ha is of the age that will make it difficult for the person to get a loan from a bank. And the person does not really, although may have family, does not really have the support of any other family members to be able to sustain. And, uh, for example, they have no other assets that they can make liquid in order to help their situation. So that vetting process has to take place. The other decision was that this would best be administered through the Ministry of Local Government um, as they are closer to the people on the ground 
uh, through their district and other infrastructure that they have in place. And in regards to health, Vice President Afif says that there is a regression when it comes to health as a nation where obesity is increasing. However, there's a decrease in some areas such as high blood pressure, smoking and high cholesterol. The Ministry of Health, together with the Cabinet of Ministers, have also proposed some solutions and a way forward. But we're worried that um, people are a huge portion of the population, for example, overweight, 64% of the population is overweight, and 11% from 6% of people are diabetic today. And a lot of it is to do with our lifestyle. Um, some of it uh, may be to do with uh, hereditary conditions, but a lot of it is to do with lifestyle. So this really is putting a lot of pressure on the on the health system, and they've, uh, they've shown that um, less than half a percent of the population today is actually taking up 10 percent of the Ministry of Health budget. So approximately 130 million rupees is spent to look after 400 people who unfortunately are caught up in the web of disease and uh, other problems. So there's a lot of pressure on the infrastructure. The Ministry feels that the way forward is to sensitize the population, to change the way we live and it starts at home and then to uh, address the problems through uh, health in all policies across all the ministries and departments, and across the population generally, to make people understand that your health is your responsibility. Ladiga police officers are back in their office, but with a new look and new facilities. The station that has been there for almost 70 years was under renovation for the past three years. On Tuesday, the police commissioner, Ted Babi, and the minister for internal affairs, Errol Fonseca, had the honor of unveiling the new plaque. The station is now more welcoming for both the police officers and the people they are serving. Minister Fonseca Seca, however, reminded these officers that their work should be focused not only on what is happening inside the station, but also in the community. The size of it is ideal. It doesn't need to be any bigger because what we want our police officers to do is to go out of the station and go and work where the crime is likely to be committed. So. The officers, the commanders in here will give the instructions, will monitor things, they, they've got their radio communications, but essentially the officers doing the job to protect Ladig, to protect the beaches, to uh, make sure our tourism are safe, uh, the people are, uh, feel safe in Ladig, uh, the antisocial behavior, all that is outside and this is where we want them to be. So Commissioner of Police has reinforced this area. Uh, he did it quite well. He's, he's asked for the uh, officers that works on Ladig to take their work even more seriously now because we need to bring the law and order situation down in Seychelles. An ongoing diagnostic study is assessing the affordability and reliability of internet and network connection in Seychelles. It is in line with the National Payment System Modernization Plan and the Seychelles FinTech Strategy in relation to the government's strategic, uh, digital uh, strategy agenda. The exercise is being carried out by the Central Bank of Seychelles and uh, DICT in partnership with a foreign consultant, uh, Network uh, Strategies Limited of uh, New Zealand. The five-month okay, study um, started uh, in late uh, February and will be completed uh, in June. Uh, the study will comprise of various components, and the key components in this comprises of the uh, supply side analysis and demand side analysis. Supply side, we're focusing towards assessing the various challenges, costs, quality of service from the telecommunication side and also the regulatory side. And the demand side focuses on um, assessing, um, again, cost, but this time in terms of the general public, the businesses, the government, the private sector, amongst others. Various tests will be carried out throughout the study to measure quality of service. And for the test to be undertaken, um, the consultants will be in country. And we would very much appreciate the active participation of the general public um, in this study, um, in the field tests. 
um, to ensure that we get uh, a very um, successful study. Renovation work on the Vocational Training Center have started. It is the Turnkey Solutions Company who have a contract uh, for this work. It's been almost three years now since the center was closed down because it was not in a conducive state for students. The principal secretary of uh, the family department, Clive Oku, says that when uh, the project is completed, the students uh, from the exceptional schools will be the, one, uh, the ones uh, benefiting fitting the renovation work is expected to be completed in four months. And that's it for the news summary. We'll be back at 8 with the Creole News. Bye for now.